Hi friends, my name is Bhavya Mangla. I am IATF qualified auditor doing audit for the automotive sector for the last 19 years. I'm again back with a very, very interesting topic. And today I'm going to talk about the key difference between jig and a fixture. And by the time this video will end, you will understand what exactly is the meaning of a jig, what is the meaning of fixture and what are the key differences between them. Well, in our day-to-day -day life, if you think about uh, routine thing, you'll find that we are using jig and fixture in some way. So, for example, if you see this, you'll find that in every home you'll find that. Now, this is a jig that we are using and on that, this is a tool that we have put. And we use it for doing some meshing. Say, for example, we put something on this and then we see that how we can mesh it. Now, here, this particular thing is a component and in this particular case, this by hand we are just putting it in this way so this is a fixture that we are using that is a simple way of understanding what is a jig and what is a fixture if i talk with respect to industry perspective when we talk about jig primarily jig is a work holding device that holds supports and locates the workpiece and guide the cutting tool or maybe the tool to perform any particular operation there can be different kind of jigs that can be used in, in the industry some of the very easy example could be a template jig or a plate drill jig it could be an angle plate jig or maybe a different kind of jig at times it is being observed that people are not very clear about the difference between jig and fixture and the reason is that even though we are using jig and fixture separately but then somehow we use jig and fixture so commonly that we fail to understand that what is the difference between them not talking about fixture when we talk about fixture primarily we are talking about something a device which can hold support and locate the workplace in the desired position to provide that accuracy interchangeability and repeatability when we talk about some of the key examples with respect to fixture so fixtures can be of any type it can be with respect to a plate fixture or angle plate fixture maybe a wise jaw fixture indexing fixture or there can be many more examples with respect to that now talking about some of the key differences between jig and fixture when we talk about jig primarily we are talking about something which can control and guide the machine to wherein when we talk about the fixture we are talking about something which can hold and support the component precisely for the machining operations in jig it ensures the accuracy repeatability and changeability that's what we are using it while in the case of fixture it provides a reduction in error by holding a component firmly on a table generally when we talk about jig it's mainly lighter it's not very heavy on the other hand when we talk about fixture it generally are bulky rigid and heavy to give some of the examples with respect to jig it may be generally used for drilling operation reaming tapping or boring operation on the other hand when we talk about the fixture it is generally used in milling machines slotting machine and the shaper in general it is being seen that the jigs are very expensive on the other hand generally the fixtures are not very expensive maybe in some cases it could be moreover when we talk about jig there's a lot of intricate design operations which are required on the other hand when we talk about the fixture generally the designs are less complicated so if i do a summary again when we talk about jig we are talking about something which hold a tool it can be a cutting tool and that is being used for certain operation on the other hand when we talk about a fixture we are talking about a workpiece which is being put under some control so that the jig can come down and the tool can do that operation but my next video will again be something related to difference and then i'm going to talk about a very very interesting topic and that is about the difference between va and e value analysis and value engineering but regularly i'm getting a lot of feedback from your side and they're helping you to understand your expectation so please do continue that and in case you want to understand a little bit more about this particular video you'll find a link below if you click that you'll find a block there and there you find this information in much more detail and in case you are liking these kind of videos and blogs, you can always share with your friends and colleagues and you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and my website, bhavyamangra.com.